I've had tremendous losses in my life. When I was in grade six, uh, me and my best friend, he was riding his bicycle on a, in a circle on the sidewalk. It was during rush hour. He got too close to the curb. The bike tipped over. Just as I was coming out of the store, transport truck ran over. When my first daughter was born, uh, I was coming home from work and uh, a child ran out in front of me between two parked cars and I hit him. And he died that night. I locked everything up inside me. I wasn't sleeping. I used to lay my head down on the pillow and it'd be hours and hours. I even went as far as to see a psychologist. Um, I was on antidepressants. And they said they couldn't find Michael, that uh, he was gone. So a couple of days later, I got a phone call. And it was Michael, and we hadn't talked for nine months. That wall was so high between us at that time. After she left, I started doing drugs again. The loneliness was just horrendous. Towards the end, uh, all my savings were gone. I was doing about $700 to $1,000 a day. Everything seemed brighter, easier, better. I started sleeping. Praying five times a day. That's a big thing for me. Um, it makes me feel bright inside. Um, gives me hope. For those five minutes, five times a day, it gives me peace and tranquility. And that's a hard thing to find nowadays. It is peace and tranquility, and Allah has provided that for me. I saw a difference in him. You could see a light in his eye. Uh, he wasn't doing drugs anymore. He wasn't as angry anymore. He was more humble, um, more loving. Because we were together so long, we wanted to have relations, and because I, because I was a new Muslim, I wanted to make sure it was done the right way. Came down, he says, I have a question to ask you. He says, will you bury me? I was shocked when she said yes. I, I, <laughs> I really didn't think she'd say yes, especially after everything that we've been through. Robert Huff, he married us that day. And then about two weeks later, I entered into Islam. I always was looking for trouble, and I always found it. All my friends were getting into gang violence. I was angry that my father wasn't around. People were always wondering what was wrong with me. I had so much potential, but I was putting the potential in the wrong areas. He'd go out and do drugs. And when he would do drugs until he didn't have any money. And then when he didn't have money, go out and get in, into um, doing stupid things to get arrested. I was afraid that he, he had gone so far that he just didn't know if he was coming or going. And that either something was going to happen, either he was going to end up in jail, or he was just going to die. <laughs> This has helped me tremendously. Just by being nice to my mother, things have changed. He doesn't go out and drink. He doesn't go out and do the drugs. He went back to school, started working. He can sit down with different people and talk to people now, where before he wasn't able to. You just become a better person. and In general, your manners get better with your family, and you don't, you're more forgiving, and the resentment goes away. I'm proud of my son. <laughs> I love him very much too. The new P4E Center is a place where new beginnings happen and old wounds can heal. Michael and April were married at the P4E Center. April embraced Islam at P4E. And today, they both reside at the center to learn and live their new faith. Here I am, a new, new Muslim in Islam, right? And here is an organization that just opens up their doors. No questions asked. What does it mean to me? It means everything to me. For Isa, P4E was a welcoming and nurturing shelter when he could no longer live with his family as a Muslim. 
D4E helped him to practice Islam and establish himself financially. This is a good place to be for any Muslim, but especially for a new Muslim. The P4E center features a dormitory, a masjid, an industrial kitchen, and administrative offices. Here, P4E offers counseling, social service referrals, and regular Islamic classes for new Muslims. P4E has its own television program, an interactive website, online Islamic classes, and a toll-free number that provides free Qurans to anyone in North America. Now I'm an ambassador for my religion. I do the best I can for Allah. I do Dawah constantly. They're changing people's lives. They're there to help you when there's no one else there for you. Supporting P4E, you're supporting me. By the grace of Allah, Paradise Forever has made enormous progress. Your support is needed to help P4E continue its pioneering work. Why wouldn't you support a center that, uh, that offers support to anybody that wants to offer their heart to God? I declare, I declare, there is no other God but Allah. There is no other God but Allah. First, we try to inspire people to become Muslim. Then we support them in their transition in becoming Muslim. We educate them so they have the foundation of Islam, so in turn they can end up propagating the message of Islam. Most importantly, we're helping Muslims stay Muslim.